Come along with me and we'll tidy up and we'll get things wiped down and cleaned up. We'll get all of our messes taken care of and even some decluttering done too. Be sure to stay to the end where I share an amazing decluttering project from one of our sweet friends in the comments section. If you're new here, my name is Karen. This is my friend Leo. Welcome to our home. You and I, the future is bright. Into the living room. Yep, Christmas. See, because I want to decorate. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is a whole nightmare. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. We got a new mirror and new lights for the bathroom. And my husband, well, it was Friday night. Of course, he's poor guy's tired from working, but I really wanted to get it up. And I knew that today was his birthday. So I was going to ask him to do it on his birthday. So I asked him to do it last night. The girls are having their youth group over tomorrow. And so I really wanted to get it up while well, he put it up. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it because it's too thick. So it was overshadowing this like really bad. And my ceilings aren't that high to put it up higher because then I have this electrical box to keep in mind. So he was going to move all that and I was like, you know what? Then we put the light up and the light would hang down and kind of touch the top of the mirror because the mirror is so thick, comes out so far from the wall. So I was like, we just got to return that mirror. And it's just a lesson that when you're having company, maybe just leave what you had because now here we are. So we'll see if it happens. Then the trash. This. The dining room. Those are all the papers I need to correct. We need to get Halloween off the walls. Off the sideboard. So even though I should start with the bedroom, I'm going to start with the bed so that I can get the laundry started. I want to thank each of you here for spending your time with me today. I appreciate it so much. It does not go unnoticed. And I just love hanging out with you in the comments. So I would love if you would leave a comment in the comment section so that I can greet you. I'm decluttering my Halloween decor later in this video so you want to stay tuned. And I'm not decluttering alone. My friends Michelle from My Everyday Wife Life, Dee from Dee Lovely Life, and Sunday from The Helpful Home are also decluttering on their channels today. So I'm gonna have all of their channels linked in my description box below. I know you won't wanna miss it. We are decluttering together every Thursday through the whole month of November. So I realize this is gonna be all over the place, but the next thing I'm going to do is empty my dishwasher. Why? Because I know the girls will get up and then I won't be able to film in the kitchen. So if I wanna give you kitchen motivation, it's gotta be now. When someone don't help you, when someone don't help you through the rain, when feelings don't matter, and everything's nothing. This was not run last night. Okay. So we add to it and run it. It's gonna be okay. So what I did was I just put the rest of the dishes in, I got the dishwasher started, and now I can tidy up the kitchen.
candy, 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 candy. I'm just trying to stay away from it and I'm not doing very good. I think I want my Christmas decor, which is why I had taken them out. So I'm gonna put these on the dining room table. Leo's up dusting the top of the fridge. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to switch gears a little bit and I'm going to start taking down some of this Halloween decor and putting it on the table so that I can prepare to decorate for Christmas. Of course, I include fall in that as well. When the lights are out and you stumble in the dark You kept pushing on but then you went too far your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember, I will be there for you, baby remember I was so nervous to take these down because I watched Joanna Thornton who I love her channel by the way, cleaning channel and her bats were taking paint and sheetrock covering off her walls. I'm so scared to remove these, but so far so good. You're stronger now than you ever been. I'm being watched. <laughs> See, this is why I love cats. You all might remember I had shared I actually wanted to take that down and get a winter scene to put up but it just hasn't worked out right financially so I kind of need to see how Christmas pans out and then we'll decide if the flowers are coming down so for the meantime they're just reminding me that spring will come at some point <laughs> I don't know maybe I'll put up some Christmassy thing I will just have to see
This, I think a cat knocked over. This, <laughs> yes, Leo just had his first birthday, and so he got a new toy. And he tore it apart. He tore two of them apart, and they're all over the floor. So I'm going to have to vacuum that up. This used to have lots of feathers on it. It has nothing. <laughs> And these are just pillow covers, so I'll take the fall ones off and replace them with my Christmas ones. Gaze upon the sky, Christmas on my mind, somewhere from a place up high above. I'm going to spray a little bit of this on them. I want to take a moment and encourage you that holiday decorating doesn't need to be about who will see it. Your home is your sanctuary. It should be a place of peace and joy. Whether or not you're having guests at Christmas, whether grown kids are home or elsewhere, think about what will bring you joy and put it out there. You are enough. Set out the pretties and breathe them in. If you have no decor, look around your yard and look for opportunities to bring the joys of the season inside where it can fill you with joy. Hope will find its way. You know I had to show it. Look at all my leaves. We have had so much rain that I haven't been able to rake because the leaves are always wet. But for Halloween decor, we had this. And I know we'll keep that. And then across the driveway. These are all things I got at the dollar store. So each of these was just a dollar. Which is why I didn't mind too much because as I've said before, not a huge Halloween person. And I need to I need to remove these plants. They're done. But man, this thing got so huge. It almost took over. Actually it did take over. But we've just got trees. Welcome to Maine. Look at all these leaves. The first year I moved to, when I moved here. I honestly thought that the previous owner never raked because there were so many leaves. Now I just know that is just where I live. <laughs> Even though I'm a Mainer, I've never lived somewhere with so many leaves. I'm just trying to hide my house number here. And then I've got this white pumpkin and this little creepy sign. My poor mom's all this rain and the hay bale I'm not going to keep because it's soaking wet. So this I'll definitely keep. So I'll bring those inside. I am going to leave the fall wreath up and we had a little Halloween, I'll show you. Gotta bring this in too. This little bit of garland needs to come in. It, it 
it got beaten up by a storm and when we had the northeasters come through. And so th I'll just throw this away. It came from the dollar store. If we want it again, we'll get it again. Super cute though. And this was where Ava decided to put the scarecrow this year. <laughs> I'll let her clean that up, but kind of funny. So this is the stuff that we didn't use this year. This bag actually has more leaves in it. So I will keep those, that. And again, I got these leaves at the dollar store. So they're super inexpensive. They come in little bags. And we didn't use this. I'll probably get rid of this. And I'll get rid of this that we didn't use. It's a wall hanging. And then more of this that's going. This is a mold for like jello that you could make a brain. We didn't do that, so but I will keep that. I'm kind of over these, so we're going to get rid of these. I did use two of these. They're just plastic from the dollar store. And the dollar store had much nicer ones this year. These came from the dollar store and they're glass. And then this one that I had by the sink also came from the doll store and I like those much better So I, I'm gonna keep those but I'm gonna get rid of these and these so before I get too far We're gonna go through each thing and I'll either put it away or I'll set it aside to get rid of Yeah, we're gonna keep you don't worry So this we're keeping oh, These two we're getting rid of my box. Okay, I'm getting rid of these. These are also plastic. These two I'm also getting rid of. These we're keeping. Keeping, but I need to wrap. So let's stir it. Getting rid of. These are this has all the leaves in it, so I'll just add our other leaves. This we're getting rid of. Then these plants that Leo has pretty much, he's done them in. We're going to get rid of these. So this, these will keep, 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 this will get rid of, and then these claws we're also going to keep, two and three. I love this little guy, so he's saying. And then my genius packing for when I have break bolts. One, two, three, and four. Again, I got those right at the dollar store, so. And then all of these bats we decided to get rid of because I feel like it's just too risky to have them stuck to the wall. I don't want to damage paint. And then we did also decide to get rid of the happy helicopter banner. And then the wreath that Leo was sitting in, we're going to keep that. These I'm keeping as well, but I'm going to wash them. See how they come out. These I'll use for Christmas decor. And we are getting rid of this blanket, which it just so happens. I like to go around and just see if there's anything real quick we're getting rid of. And my daughter also picked a couple pairs of shoes to get rid of that I'm going to go grab. Getting rid of these and these. I think these will really make someone happy. And then these are going as well. So here's my box of keep, and here is my box of things to declutter. I completely forgot these, but we'll definitely put them in the box to keep.
Welcome to the van. I have one daughter who goes to private school, if you don't know, and then I have two daughters that homeschool, so I was dropping off my daughter that goes to private school, and I'm meeting a friend for coffee. One of our sweet friends, Colleen, has been writing to me, and you might know her from the comments section. You might not, because I know it's a lot to be going back and reading through comments after you've already posted your comment. But her name is Colleen, and she's 58 years old, which is close to my age. I'm 56, and she is a wife of 10 years, and and she doesn't have any children and I think her experience is so typical of what I see and that is why I wanted to share it with you because I think it would be a great encouragement and she did give me permission to share her story I'm gonna share excerpts from different emails that she has sent to me you'll have to pardon the potential noise of traffic I'm on a busy street she says thank you for sharing your videos on YouTube they are a blessing to me I wanted to show you the results of you sharing your life and your encouragement on YouTube the blessing you have been in my life is huge thank you God has has given you a wonderful way to encourage and reach people for him. The mess in my home was overwhelming and it was affecting my marriage. I was so angry, frustrated, and discouraged. I have to work on my home at a slow pace. We are seeing such a difference in our home and in my mental attitude. I wanted to share some before and after photos so you can see the help and encouragement you have been. And she says, watching you declutter and work on your basement week after week helped me keep motivated. It means a lot to me to be able to see someone diligently pursue a project like this and also because you showed the reality that not everyone has a lot of time or the physical capability to work at it all at once or over a weekend I really want you to know what a blessing you have been to me and my husband you may share our photos or information it's hard sometimes because it's so embarrassing the state of my home but I praise God that we just put that behind us and moved forward isn't that awesome she says I wanted to and have been praying about getting my home back in order and besides physical limitations it was extremely overwhelming I had been neat and organized most of my life now I see such progress over 19,000 items have left our home they have been donated recycled thrown away and given to family and friends so thank you again dear lovely lady and then she says Today I feel so relieved, lighter, and have much hope for the future. I still have a room to organize, which is my goal for November. Now I want you to hear this because this is what I'm talking about. Much of my clutter problem was the changes in life with six spine surgeries and things accumulating. I had to evaluate what I can do and what I want to do. I enjoy cooking with my husband. I enjoy baking, Bible journaling, and scrapbooking. Focusing on these hobbies that bring me joy and donating things I no longer wanted to use helped declutter. The piles of fabric, t-shirts, and towels were donated on behalf of local church that gives away clothing for free. I had two under the bed boxes full of fabric plus some in the closet that were donated to a lady etc starting in July every closet cupboard and dresser drawer was decluttered and organized including the garage and utility room she also shared with me and what I want you to see in this is here is a woman that was embarrassed frustrated angry that she couldn't get her house decluttered but she had had six count them six spine surgeries so Anyone who's had six surgeries is going to have a hard time keeping their home. It just is. And this is what I see. I have very rarely met anyone in my life that I would consider truly lazy. Even someone who sits around watching TV all day, there's usually a reason, whether it's a physical limitation, whether it's a mental illness, depression, anxiety, there's usually something behind it. And so what I do notice is guilt just holds us down further and keeps us from living the life we want and from getting our house decluttered because we just feel like it's impossible so why even try we've given up and I don't want you to give up and I don't want you to call yourself lazy I want you to do what you can do every day even if that's only five minutes because five minutes stacked up over 365 days that is a lot of minutes. 
Okay, so she wrote to me just yesterday. I so hope that those pictures in my story help others. I'm continuing to work on my guest room and scrapbook room. I have 15 days before my mom arrives. I am so looking forward to seeing her and I want her to feel comfortable in my home and that she is welcome and that there is space for her. However, that was not my original motivation to declutter. I have been praying about the clutter and disorganization for several years. I know that when things become cluttered or you put stuff on a dresser or table, that then it is so much easier to just add to it. Oh, have I ever found that out? I so agree. It is like a mess attracts more mess. Especially if you are overwhelmed and don't know where to begin, you just feel hopeless and add to the mess. There are so many decisions to make that your brain becomes fatigued and you second guess yourself. I was taught that if I could not use something someone else could, so I found it even hard to get rid of rubber bands. One thing that helps me is to take photos. I heard it from someone else that our mind adapts very quickly to the changes that we make in our space. I found that to be very true for myself. You adapt to the new normal, which means you quickly forget the progress you have made because the new normal is now your normal. And for me, when I saw what still needed to be done I focused on the mess and disorganization and not what was accomplished and how much left the house that is why I took lots of photos almost daily and I kept track of the number of items which seems ridiculous to count every piece of paper but that is how I helped to motivate myself and got my husband's participation thank you so much for sharing your videos and encouraging us to continue our journey to declutter she also asked for prayer for her sister Brenda who is 62 and at the end stages of pancreatic cancer Answer that she was diagnosed with sometime in 2020 so if you are a praying person I'm gonna ask you please pray for her sister she recently had to have a duodenal stint put in her pancreas and this is the first part of your small intestine nothing was moving through this is a palliative procedure and the average lifespan is three months she's had chemotherapy and radiation and her body cannot tolerate anymore the tumor is very large and inoperable she has three living children her youngest son died from bacterial meningitis about eight years ago so her family has suffered a huge loss so I do ask you to be in prayer for her sister for herself and her mom and her husband has also struggled with some health and mental health issues so but do you see how we can let guilt take over when there's so many good reasons why our house is in the state it is in and I hope this encourages you to keep working at it just like Colleen did and we are all truly in this together and I'm gonna leave some videos um, of more of my decluttering and if you would like to click on those I will definitely join you there if you would like me to feature your progress here on this channel I would be more than happy to do that I do have people send pictures from time to time and I want you to tell me specifically that I am allowed to share and if you've sent pictures in the past I have not deleted them so you may go ahead and send me an email at this mom at gmail.com and I will share your progress in a future video because I do believe it encourages Encourages us all and remember as always that God loves you and I love you too and I can't wait to see you next time